Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Matt, and today we're gonna to be talking about consistency and building a habit in language learning. Let's get started. So, you know, in my opinion, building a habit is so important when learning a language, and a lot of people don't do it, and they kind of just rely on the motivation factor um, and just kind of this up in the air kind of mindset to, to learn a language. And in my opinion, to the two most important concepts really for making progress in learning languages is staying motivated and having consistent progress. And to have consistent progress, it's, it's really a good idea to try to build a habit and a consistent routine when you're learning a language. You know, especially when you're first starting out or even in the intermediate phases, um, you're, you're going to run into issues. There's gonna be times where once you're past that honeymoon phase, um, you're gonna you're gonna run into some sort of problem. Maybe it's a gr grammar concept and you just don't understand what's going on or you, you notice a, a different structure with a language, maybe it's cases, where it just seems so overwhelming and you think to yourself, I'm never going to be able to understand that. Maybe it's even with listening. You listen and you just literally don't understand anything. And if you're, kind of get discouraged and you don't have that consistent routine, you don't really have this kind of thing to fall back on. And it's very easy just to stop, you know, learning the language, to start doing it less and less. And ultimately you can quit. And, you know, ideally if we want to be fluent, we don't want to quit. So anytime we can kind of help prevent that, the better. So when building a routine, I think it's, it's important just to take a step back and, and come up with a plan and goals. Because if we set up how we want to structure a routine and have goals around it, the more we're likely to stick with that routine and the more effective it's gonna be in the end of the day. So first off, think about um, you know how much time you want to dedicate to learn language learning or how much you're willing to. Because I think that's gonna be a, a really good kind of place to, to kind of structure the rest of the, your goals around that habit from there. So you know, when setting kind of the, those parameters, try to be as specific as possible. You know, the more specific, the, the more concrete, the better, because that means you're going to be more likely to follow it. You're going to know if you were successful in following that habit. And it kind of just helps you to, to kind of quantify your progress and to be able to adjust your strategy if you need to later on. So first off, you know, try to identify what time of day do you want to study? You know, is it going to be in the morning? Is it in the afternoon? And try to be very specific about that time, you know, rather than just saying, I'm going to study every single day, make it so I'm going to do it every single day at 8 a.m. or before noon because, you know, it's very easy for distractions in life to come up and before you know it, you just don't feel like doing it and that um, you just end up not studying. So if you're, if you're kind of very specific about what time you start at, when you do language learning, you know, you're more likely to follow through. You're more likely to kind of have that obligation to want to go study. So be very specific on the time. The other thing, uh, that I would be considerate of is, you know, how long do you want to study for? Um, obviously, you know, you have to adjust for your schedule, but try to be specific about that time amount. So maybe it's 30 minutes, maybe it's an hour, um, maybe it's a range of times. Try to try to set those specific times because not only that, it's going to help guide you to getting to that longer term goal, but it's also keeping you accountable. And I think that's that's really important. The other thing too is be specific about what you want to study. So. Maybe you really need to focus on learning new words and not the other skills. Well, if you are kind of saying, okay, well, I'm going to study at 8 a.m. and I'm going to study vocabulary, you kind of have that obligation. You know what you're going to do. Um, you know, you're less likely to go, you know, I'm just going to listen instead, right? Having that kind of that clear um, idea of what you're going to work on, you're going to be more obligated to work on that specific area that you need to work on. So it's a great way to kind of focus on areas that maybe you're not putting as much effort on. You kind of have this set routine. Um, and it also helps you to just not debate whether or not you want to do one kind of you know, study method versus the other. So being very specific about that routine as well. And of course, you know, don't limit yourself to just studying this in, in this time. You know, if you want to listen to the language on your commute to work or you have other parameters that maybe are a little bit less specific, by all means do that. But you know, building that habit, uh, being consistent, I think is very important. You can incorporate kind of, you know, not specific study times in, into that, but having some sort of dedicated time, I think is very helpful for building that habit. And, and like I said, this is really gonna accomplish a couple of things in the end of the day. So number one, you're gonna be making steady progress, right? By doing it every single day, you're steadily gonna get better at the language. And this accomplishes a bunch of things, right? It makes it more fun because you're gonna have more progress in the language. And the other thing too is that the 
so-called grind part of learning the language is gonna be less and less impactful to you. So, um, especially at the beginning and in the, in the intermediate stages, you know, some of the things that you work on are maybe not necessarily that fun. And so, if you have this kind of, this routine and this, um, this period of time where you dedicate to language learning every single day, you know, it, it's, it kind of helps to, to have this discipline to overcome the grindy part of learning a language. And so once you get used to it, and I think building a habit roughly takes about you know 21 days or so, um, you know, language learning will become less of a grind. It's just something that you do every single day, like going to the gym. And I think at, at that point, it really helps you to kind of de-risk quitting a language, getting demotivated, and because you just have this routine that's helping reinforce your results, but also kind of making the kind of underlying idea with language learning not a grind. So this is what I had to say about um, habits and, and building that consistency. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.